okay so this is the uh, numerical given to us okay and this following figures shows cross sections through three long conductors of the same length and material with cross section of edge lengths as shown conductor b will fit snugly within conductor a and conductor c will fit snugly within conductor b okay we need to derive the relationship between their end to end resistance okay that means these are the three conductors these uh, we have been given the cross sections one cross section of uh, each of these conductors each of these three long conductors okay now uh, this dimension the length of the side for the conductor a is root 3 times a for uh, conductor b it is root 2 times a and for uh, conductor c the length is given as a okay the length uh, uh, for conductor c is a and it is uh, mentioned that b will fit snugly within conductor a that means the conductor b will fit snugly that means perfectly within the conductor a similar is the case for conductor c this conductor c will fit snugly within conductor b okay that means all these three are properly well arranged okay now uh, in order to determine the relationship between their end to end resistance okay what will be what we are uh, um, we what we need is we need to derive the relationship between we need to obtain a relationship for the area uh, because we have been given that the length of uh, the conductors for uh, a b and c they are the same where as uh, as well as uh, they have the uh, they are made from the same material okay so since they are made from same material they would be having the same specific resistance okay so specific resistance for all the three conductors will be sim will be same as well as the length of the conductors will be same so the only thing uh, only thing which will change is the area of cross section of the conductor okay so what we need is in order to find the uh, relationship between the resistance we require the we require to find the area of cross section for all these three conductors okay so our job is to determine the area of cross section for conductor a conductor b and conductor c okay now for uh, conductor a area of cross section of a okay now if we we'll look carefully we have been given that this conductor b okay will fit properly inside the conductor a okay that means the area of this cross section the area of this conductor a it would be a square of area root uh, of side root 3a okay so minus the area of a square of side root 2a okay so the area of cross section for conductor a it would be root 3a square okay whole minus this part okay and the area of this the for the side for this square is root 2 times a because this conductor b fits properly inside the conductor a so minus root 2 sorry root 2 times a whole square so this will give us an answer of a square okay so this is the area of cross section for a conductor a okay now similarly we'll obtain the area of cross section for conductor b okay so area of cross section of b okay now similar to the previous case here conductor c fits properly inside conductor a okay so again in order to determine the area of cross section for b okay this is area of uh, a square of side root 2a minus the area of a square with side a okay so the area of cross section for conductor b would be root 2a whole square minus whole square okay so this would give us again area of cross section as a square okay so this was the area of cross section for a this is the area of cross section for conductor b okay now in conductor c conductor c is just a square conductor square block of conductor with length or the side of the square as a so we can directly write the area of cross section for conductor c is equal to a square now this would be equation number 3 so from equation number 1 2 and 3 what we can observe is that the area of cross section for all the conductors are same okay so the resistance which is given as rho l times a okay and since in our case rho and l are same for all the three conductors so that means the resistance for our case is inversely proportional to area of cross section now but since the area of cross section for all the three cases are same so what we can observe is that the resistance for all the cases will also be same that means ra equals to rb equals to rc okay so this is the relationship between the end to end resistance 
for the conductors A, B and C.